Good evening and welcome to video blog number six for the blog heavyhops.blogspot.com. Uh, you've joined me this evening on uh, Thursday the 26th of November. Today, uh, Brewdog, the Scottish brewery based in Fraserburgh, revealed their new brew. Very controversial. It's 32% uh, ABV, making it possibly the world's strongest beer, certainly for the time being anyway. It's called Tactical Nuclear Penguin. And uh, I have to admit that this morning I did purchase a bottle. It seems to have split the uh, the blogosphere, really. There seems to be people who are refusing to buy it because of its cost. Some people are refusing to buy it because they think it's just a marketing ploy. To be fair, I think that argument's a lot of tosh, to be honest. Um, I really don't think the Brewdog would have wasted 18 months uh, of, you know, possible marketing ploys just for one uh, you know marketing ploy. I really think the biggest marketing ploy there was getting the dogs dressed up as a penguin to be honest. Yeah, I think that was classic. Um, so yeah I know I, I definitely don't think this is a marketing ploy at all. I think it'll help. It, it, you know it, it looks good for the brewery, it gets them publicity. But at the end of the day I do think that the, the time they've taken over this beer that it's just ridiculous to think that it's completely marketing. That's absolutely ridiculous. You'd be as well just saying that all of the beers they've ever made have just been marketing, which is completely and utterly ridiculous. Um, anyway, not why I'm not why I'm here this evening. Uh, here to talk about uh, this beer. Now, uh, just for a little bit of uh, background on this video, this is take three. This is take three of this video. Hence, why the glass is slowly decreasing and you're not watching me pour it and test the temperature like I would normally do. You're not watching me pour it into two glasses. That's because this is the third take of this video. I'm hoping this one works. If not, you're never getting to see this video and it's resigned to the uh, the depths of time forever. Anyway, this is uh, Rochefort number 8. I was told to try number 8 before I tried number 10, which is apparently the better one. But I was told to try this one first, uh, just to get a, a feel of what the brand is actually like. First of all, in the nose we've got a lot of kind of rum, raisin, kind of uh, banana -y kind of quality to it. Um, kind of figgy almost as well, a little bit figgy. Definitely a lot of kind of sticky, dark fruit to it. If we just give it a little swirl and we'll just taste it now. Doesn't fail to surprise this beer, it tastes absolutely nothing like it smells. Um, in a good way though, in a good way. Not that it smells bad, but it's absolutely cracking. The first taste you get straight away is that really dark Havana style rum, that really dark kind of uh, Cuban or possibly Jamaican style rum. It's just absolutely fantastic. It's so dark, so Syrupy. The mouthfeel of this beer is fantastic. It's just cracking. As that, I mean, I can't really say very much more than that. Than this is an absolutely cracking beer. If you've not tried Rochefort, definitely go out and try it. This is like no other Trappist beer I have tried. This is not like Chimay. It doesn't taste anything like the ones that you will have tried. Doesn't taste anything like Chimay, doesn't taste anything like the other Trappist beers at all. This is completely different. Fantastic. Um, one thing I would say is that I'll be doing a, a review of uh, Rochefort 10 in the near future, and then I'm hoping possibly in a month's time or so, um, once I've got the chance to revisit the beer shop, uh, to then do a video blog actually tasting the two together. Um, so as I say, this is kind of part one of three if you like. I will then video review uh, number 10 very soon and then we'll also do them both uh, together as well. But whatever you're doing uh, this Thanksgiving actually, happy Thanksgiving to the American um, viewers, whatever you're doing this Thanksgiving or this evening, I uh, hope you have a good time and uh, get back to blogging on that new controversial beer from Brewdog. Anyway, enjoy.